Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a common size balance sheet or sometimes this is called vertical analysis. So let's get started. We're working with, I've got Apple's most recent uh, annual report and here is the balance sheet for September 2023. So when it's common size or vertical analysis, we're going to set assets to be 100%. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the assets and divide everything in that entire column. All the assets divided by the total assets. So I'm going to divide by the total assets here and it's not going to be helpful at first, but we're going to make this uh, absolute. So C and 18, dollar sign C, dollar sign 18, that's an absolute uh, address. So we're going to make this a percentage, convert it to a percentage. So that's 100%, but let's look at the components of all the assets here. What percent of the assets are each one? Now we take out the zero here in the middle, but you can see the current assets are the cash here, takes up about eight and a half percent of the assets. And the biggest component, 40% uh, is current, but 60, uh, almost 59.3, almost 60% is uh, non-current or long-term assets. So you can see quickly how the assets, the components of the assets are made up. And you can do the same thing down on the liabilities and equity section. So let's just copy this down and we'll get percentage 62,000 divided by the 352, the total assets. And then we can copy this all the way down. And this is easy way to compare. So this is called the common size because now it converts all the dollars to percent. And when you're on the income statement, that percent is sales or net sales is 100%. You can see the components of your sales, but here you can see the components of assets. So how is this company? How is Apple finance? Well, 41% is total current liabilities. 82% would be liabilities. They've got another 41% that is uh, non-current. So they have almost an equal amount of current liabilities and long-term liabilities. So 82.4%. So the remaining 17.6% is equity. So um, their debt to equity is pretty high because they have lots of both current liabilities and long-term liabilities. So this is how you do the common size. You can compare that to another company, or you can take another year. You could use the previous year of Apple and figure out, well, how much debt did they have then? How much uh, current assets, how much cash, so on. Everything is a component of the total assets. So this is how you common size a balance sheet. You do the same thing on an income statement. You common size it by dividing everything by the net sales. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.